The Nigerian Senate has set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the Centenary City project so as to ascertain the factors impeding its completion. The upper chamber also urged the federal government to prioritize Abuja's Centenary City project for economic revival. This were part of the resolutions reached to investigate the project following a motion sponsored by Senator Yisa Ashiru for alleged irregularities surrounding the $18.72 billion Centenary City project. It is an urgent need to revive and complete the stall Centenary City project Abuja to realize its intrinsic economic and development potential. Original estimated investment for Abuja Centenary Economic City Project was 18.5 billion United States dollars as of 2014, equivalent to the size of Nigerian national budget at today's exchange rate. Concerned that there is ambiguity in regulatory and implementation between the concerned stakeholders leading to the neglect of Abuja Centenary Economy City Designs Blueprint. However, in supporting the motion, some lawmakers expressed their reservations over the setting up of an ad hoc committee when standing committees could be co opted. To commend the Deputy Senate leader for bringing up this very important motion and it should be treated as such. Mr. President, the conception of the project was very laudable and many Nigerians were looking up to it. Unfortunately, as he said, 10 years after launching it, we have not achieved any progress. It will be one of our great achievements if the 10th Senate can restart that project, which is very, very important. And looking around the world, it is such project that makes a city bigger, better, and beautiful. I agree solely that the committee on FCT, I don't think there is a need to have an ad hoc committee. I don't, I don't support this idea of any issue that comes up, you set up ad hoc committee, ad hoc committee. Why did we give the committee's responsibility then? Our committees are based on capacity, capability of our colleagues. So, unless the issue at stake is no, cannot be properly placed, it's neither here nor there, then you set up an ad hoc committee. But since we have committee on FCT, I think they should be charged with that responsibility. As it is today, given the state of Nigerian economy, given the abysmal uh, revenue base of Nigerian economy today, I don't think the federal government is in a position to inject any additional fund into that place. Okay? So I believe that the private sector should drive this process. And in doing that, I also want to uh, call on the Federal Ministry of Finance to put together a team of investment bankers worldwide. Most, most of these projects of this nature are driven by the private sector. Okay? So if the Ministry of Finance can put together a team of investment bankers to come up with a package okay, that will enable investors to invest in that project by way of ordinary shares and debt, I think it will be a good combination. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.